you to the great Joe Gruders. I'm so happy to be here. Go Daytona! Woo! This is great. Well, for more than seven years, we have watched our country's debt grow to more than $19.2 trillion under Obama and Hillary, more than every other American president in history combined. For more than seven years, we have seen our friends in the world question our commitment and our enemies challenge our resolve. And I know firsthand, we've seen the EPA threaten our jobs and Obamacare destroy our businesses and our health care. Well, you are all here today because you are part of the solution and we are about to see this Washington, D.C. train wreck come in for a reckoning. Because our world is about to come face to face with a leader who does not trade in politics, but excels at winning. <laughs> Donald Trump will not tolerate things that don't work, and he will drive to restore things that do. You are all here today because you know that line drawn around Florida is the path to the presidential. We know that. We should be proud of that. You've heard of, from all these great women who are coming here walking doors. A lady you heard from walked over 4,000 doors in Florida. That's how we're going to win Florida for Donald Trump. I know Donald. He will fight for you, and we have to fight for him. You are doing it. And as a prosecutor for 18 years, this is a great crowd. As a prosecutor for 18 years, I know, I know he respects our first responders and our men and women in uniform. proud to call Donald a friend, and I have seen the way he treats Ivanka, Don Jr., the tremendous respect he has for his family. I've seen him with his co-workers, his employees, when someone will say, Mr. Trump, can I buy the water cooler? Can I get you something to drink? And he'll say, no, but I'm right here. Let me get it for you. That's the Donald Trump that I know. I don't think I've ever had a conversation with Donald, and you may have heard me say this before, where he doesn't ask about my mother. That's the Donald Trump that I know. <laughs> Donald will not settle, you know this, for America being second best. And he will support our allies like Israel who need us. secure our borders to stop the flow of heroin coming into our country and our state from Mexico. And he will impose great trade policies. He believes in securing strength through peace. Peace through strength. They are intertwined. That's exactly what he's going to do to fix this world and help this country. Now, something that I care about, um, first of all, I'm sick and tired of suing the President of the United States of America, <laughs> along with my fellow Republican Attorneys General. I'm former Chairman of the Republican Attorneys General, and we are constantly, constantly 
having to sue the federal government for overreach. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. They, they do not understand the separation of powers. And I will tell you two words why you must elect Donald Trump. Supreme Court. As a practicing lawyer my entire career, I have never seen anything like this, ever. We have no doubt who Donald Trump will put on the Supreme Court. And we have, we know exactly who Hillary will put on the Supreme Court. Young activist, and, and it, 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 bear with me, this is so important. They're not going to affect our lives, lifetimes, the lifetimes of our kids, but generations to come. This could impair all of our rights, and it would if she is elected. Seven years, seven years we have been standing by as a Washington, D.C. run by Hillary and Obama has been paralyzed by politics. Jobs have been lost to overregulation and a world threatened by terrorism. And yes, we are not scared to say terrorism. And it's time you and I are coming off the sidelines. Independence Day is coming early this year. Yeah. On a beautiful wintry day in Washington, D.C., when Donald J. Trump is sworn in as our President of the United States of America. God bless you, God bless the Trump family, and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you.